Now, um, another question I wanted to ask you is how, how many kilos can one gain in a week and how many calories do you have to take? Okay. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, weight gain might be hard or even harder than weight loss for people who are really trying to, to, to gain weight because those people who tend to be really skinny just you know, uh, genetically predisposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, in essence, we are, uh, to, to gain a kg, and it could be fat, it could be muscle, uh, you need to be consuming in excess calories. So in that week, if you're not consuming in excess, you'll still not gain the weight. It's not very predictable, but in terms of weight loss, we say that you can lose 0 0.5 to 1 kg of fat in a week. Okay. Yeah, and uh, in terms of weight gain, it might be 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. We don't have any exact figures that have been studied. Okay. But it, it all, you have to increase your caloric intake maybe by 500 grams in a day. Okay. And I usually encourage someone who wants to gain weight to focus more on consuming uh, uh, extra protein and lift mm -hmm. some weights because mm -hmm. you don't want to gain fat, you want to gain muscle. Okay. Of course, people who are really skinny, most of them, I notice, I've sat with them, mm -hmm. they are actually indisciplined in sticking to their meals. You realize they easily skip meals right. and they want to gain. Just focusing on having your three meals and then throw in some snacks in between. So those are the people who need to have like five meals in a day. Okay. They'll still need to have more carbohydrate because they tend to burn their calories faster. Okay. They are still, but focus on healthier carbohydrates. By this, I mean whole grain okay. or, you know, the unprocessed types that you can get from the farm. Okay, what about people who uh, want to lose weight? Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, no, for people who want to gain weight. Yes. And um, it's very, very hard for them to gain, yeah. uh, to gain weight. Mm -hmm. Do you advise them to first, because, you know, mm -hmm. according to popular belief, mm -hmm. you have to dewarm. <laughs> then get, get on it's ridiculous. A, <laughs> get on some type of syrup that will make you eat and eat and eat. Is that the way to go? Uh, not really. Okay, the deworming thing, okay, you can do your deworming empirically every three months, that's fine, but okay. it just doesn't mean that someone who is, uh, you know, of, of small or is petite, that they are actually have worms. That's a, that's a <laughs> <laughs> Miss Nama. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but uh, I would... Unless really one is, is unwell. Actually, and medically speaking, most of the, of the patients who have chronic conditions or, of course, people who are having malignancies of cancers are likely to, to lose weight, not because they want to, but because there are many other things going on in the body that makes, makes them just burn calories. And that's really negative. And we, we get, uh, you know, the nutritionists on board to, to actually craft a program for them to increase the caloric intake. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are those special conditions whereby we have uh, to put uh, patients on, on, um, on a high calorie diet and we focus on giving them uh, you know, amino acids, we, 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 give, we give them healthy fats because we want to increase the density, like even in small volumes, sometimes even through infusions, we, okay. we want it to be laden with, with calories and, and, and nutrients. Okay. So those are special conditions, but we are talking about an otherwise normal person. Right. Um, an appetite stimulant would not be the way to go mm -hmm. unless it's really extreme, but sometimes it's good to ask why. Maybe mm -hmm. someone is going through depression right. or, or uh, has, has, been, has lost someone, a beloved one, or going through a stressing situation. So sometimes maybe sitting with a counselor is what they need and, yes. and then the, the, the appetite will be back in shape and still even then we focus on healthier foods maybe calorie dense ones like uh, like nuts and, and, and avocados All and right. such like foods. we have yeah. ira on on the line ira hello hello hi how are you hi how are you fine thank you i'm really enjoying your show okay thank you <laughs> and uh, i wanted to ask a question about uh, weight loss because i saw that you were discussing that okay so I've tried to use different methods of losing weight, but uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. that has never worked for me. Okay. Uh, so do diet plans actually work? Or what can I do to lose weight in a short period of time, let's say two weeks? Can you highlight like three of the methods that you've used to, to, to lose weight? Yes, like I would wake up in the morning and use just um, hot lemon water. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but that would still make me hungry during the day, uh -huh. so end up eating more. Uh -huh. What and other method? You said you use water. various methods. A second one? Uh, second one, I've tried to eat a lot of proteins, a lot of uh, eggs and milk. Mm -hmm. Again, that hasn't worked. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, even exercise, 
I, you know, because you now I've seen so much weight, exercise is quite hard to uh, do. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the question. And um, it, it, it's interesting. I, I, I know when, when people say they've tried many things, yeah, you probably have. But maybe sometimes, uh, I, I assume this could be your case, you give up too soon. Uh, you give up too soon. It takes a while actually to, to lose weight, the healthy weight, to actually lose fat. Two weeks, it, it really depends. I mean, in two weeks, the most you'll have lost is just two, two kgs, really. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about fat. I'm not talking about all these fats out there that will make you lose water, and then after you're done with, with that for like a week, then you're wondering oh. on day two, all the weight is back. Lemon water is okay for your vitamin C and hydration. It does nothing for your weight loss. I'm sorry you've seen all those things being marketed. Take it. It's okay. It's healthy for you, but for weight loss, let me say, okay, that is shenanigan. I'm sorry to say that, but save your energy if you thought that would make you lose weight. I'm just trying to be blunt here and give you the real facts. Eating a lot of protein, it's okay. You'll get some protein for your body. I assume your kidneys are okay to handle that and your liver as well. But really, remember, excess protein still has a way of eventually triggering insulin. It will still be stored as fat. Okay. So um, you still have to have a very balanced approach. Right. And maybe you need to sit with someone to consult and give, get good direction. But don't give up. It takes time.